Hey guys, Rush here with a new video. Today I have something very cool for you. It's an actual Android lock screen um, that I made with Redstone. Okay, and it actually is a combination lock. Um, as you can see, I will be opening up this door right here. And as you can see, it's not lagging as bad. <laughs> Isn't that great? Uh, I turned off smooth, or I turned off smooth lighting, so it won't lag that much. So that's also good. Um, so right here we have the display. Um, and then here's just a bunch of wiring and stuff. So here I'll show it to you, and it's using my touchpad technology. So that's also very cool. So and click on this, and then it will show up on the display there. And then when I click top one, this is the combination. It will show up on the display right there. Again, and then next combination is right there. Show up right there. And then remember that door over there. Well, when I click this right here, it will open up that door because that is the combination, which is like a, uh, what is that, an N. Okay, so to reset everything, it's very simple. I just chop that block right here, and then it will reset everything, and the door is closed again. And um, there are some bugs ab about this. Um, I did, th I'll tell you this right now. This is a work in progress. For example, if I click that right there, it will not show up on there, because um, I forgot this while I was making all of this. But you can only have... Um, so many touchpad devices um, next to each other or else it will not work so yeah but I do have a schematic for this so if any of you want to actually um, improve this in any way um, feel free to uh, you can download that I will have the download uh, link in this description and for some reason this doesn't want to update so let's just fix that okay so Again, the combination is on bottom here, and um, it, it's not order sensitive, but if I do that, it won't show up on the screen there. And like I said, this is the reset button right here. It will reset everything, okay? Um, and I'll be going over how all this works, okay? This is, like, kind of maybe advanced a little bit, but I'll explain over it as best as I can. So that uh, door is still closed, and right there will open up the door, okay? And again, this resets everything. And what's so cool about this reset button is that if someone just came up here and just started messing around with a lot of these and just didn't want to um, do anything and didn't care, um, as you can see, it shows up a little bit on that. And it doesn't matter. This will reset everything um, back to normal. Okay, so let's get on to how this works. Okay, down here we have this dirt block, okay? Um, I'll also put a... Uh, link somewhere in the description to my tech uh, my touchpad video so you can know how that works so let's change this so from here we have our thing and uh, right here it will detect if it's been chopped on okay I can also uh, click on this twice and it will turn either on or off that okay um, so basically right here is I have a simple touch flop yes that's right touch flop uh, basically, what that is is a touchpad T flip flop. Um, so what that does is it will toggle this piston right here, putting it over this redstone torch and activating this wire right here. Okay, and I'll let you see all of this right here. So what happens from here is that it will um, activate this, or it will um, invert this redstone torch right here, and then causing this to go off, and then um, inverting this right here and all that stuff all that good stuff um, displaying this right here so if I hit this you can see this will turn on this redstone torch inverting this redstone torch displaying this redstone torch okay and then from here we have this going into an AND gate okay what this does is an AND gate if both inputs are if both inputs are off then the output will be on. So what I have it set up to is this next one right here, okay? So in this one, it goes up, does the same thing, um, and then from right here, it goes into the AND gate again to display um, this top, this or the top part, or uh, I can't talk today, to display the top part of this, okay? And from here, it will also go up into this other AND gate, and it will also toggle, trigger this one right here to make it look like um, all three of these came on and stuff, okay? So let's uh, hit this again. Uh, 
as you can see, that all turns on, okay? The next part is basically the same thing. Uh, over here, I have another touchpad flip-flop set up, and it uh, goes into here, so let's actually hit this. There we go. So, when we come over here, what's going to happen is there's another T flip-flop. This is a T flip-flop. It just looks really weird, and I had the... Um, that right there that I'm pointing at, that dirt block, uh, set up, hooked up to this T flip flop right here. So you have to have both of these done correctly before this redstone torch actually turns on to display um, this part right here, okay? And then it also will go into this display right here to turn on this redstone torch, okay? And then basically I just do the same thing for the bottom one right here to show off everything. The only difference is that um, on bottom here, I just have another uh, redstone wire that comes down and into this right here to activate and open up the door, okay? So how does this resetting system work? Um, this is my favorite part because I like resetting things, I guess. But how this works is that I have another touchpad T flip flop set up and I have two redstone torches under here, okay? I have the first one right here and I guess I didn't have another one right here but or um, basically when this is over the redstone torch it will allow this piston to retract outward okay so when I reset this it will go through all um, go, it will go through all this right here and then it will be able to come through here and it will be able to grab that block again and what's so cool about this is that if this block is not on the redstone torch that will not allow this piston to come out which means that this piston will not toggle out um, when that has been chopped on okay or when I activate the resetting system that means that this the, it will only reset the pistons that have been that are active right now and that have that will show display on there okay so here's an example right here for some reason I had this inverted so I have to have another uh, T flip flop down there but so yeah so that, which that means is here I'll show you a quick example if I hit this block right here this will activate this piston right here, okay? Because this piston, or because this piece of wool is on top of here, it will um, activate this going up into the display, okay? But it will also activate this piston, allowing me to reset everything, allowing me to reset this. So, basically, this will be the only piston that will be reset, because none of these um, have, reds have the wool on top of it. So, um, as you can see, this is blank. So if I reset this, click this um, reset button, it will only toggle this the piston with the wool on top of the redstone torch because this is uh, just how I set it up. Uh, I hope I got that through and I explained everything okay. And then yeah, just the same thing for all of these. And um, yeah, so there are a little bit of bugs in this. Um, but it's still it's still pretty cool. I mean, um, not your average combination lock just to open up a door, um, and it looks pretty cool too. So I think I pressed the wrong thing right here. So yeah, um, basically what I'll do is if you guys improve this and make a video of it, um, then I and you send it to me or post it as a video response, I will have to feature you in my next video if it's really awesome okay so just download the schematic of it you can improve it however you want to or you can just make uh, your own version and if you send it to me then I will um, give you a cookie and a piece of cake and feature you on my next video so this is my Android uh, combination lock or lock I uh, hope you guys like this video be sure to check out my other videos and to subscribe thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later